Ladies and gentlemen, after a long day, I came back home and I must tell you that I really want to tell you something. It was a just amazing game in the first round, game number one in the World Chess Championship match with the white pieces, Grandmaster, the rising star from India, Gukesh D and with the black pieces, Grandmaster, and the world champion from China, Ding Liren. Come on, let's find out. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today we will see something that you will never see again. The analysis of game number one in the World Chess Championship match. Can you imagine in the final of this tournament we all will know who is the world champion of 2024 in chess all over the world. If it will be Gukesh D from India or maybe the reigning world champion Grandmaster Ding Li Ren will do it again. Let's find out together. So, you know, I, I don't know. We witnesses the game number one between just maybe the top five uh, players in the world, right? Grandmaster Ding Li Ren is one of the best players in the world already for 10 years. And Gukish D is like not a reigning star, is already just one of the best, right? Is just tactic and he's doing like so much uh, preparation during the tournaments and he's really really you're feeling him right he can do everything you want and already he managed to win just every single player in the uh, top 100 players so i can tell you that gukesh d is maybe the top talented guy uh, in the world today uh, and is the most young challenger ever in this chess world champion so you know the all all of the world uh, spoke a lot about this match and ding Liren didn't won for i don't know around 300 days and for gukesh is like in his in his uh, zone right he's playing very strong very fast with confidence and winning so much games but Dilly ran big big no and so much people said you know what Gukesh will just crush him and I can tell you that yesterday I also uh, you know tell this right um, but let's see what happened today because maybe we will have a surprise but maybe not maybe Gukesh just won who knows let's start so gukish play with white pieces e4 and e6 what a blindfold move unbelievable grandmaster dingley ryan is doing it again e6 french opening what a choice d4 d5 and now knight c3 was played knight f6 attacking the pawn on e4 of course e5 there is another move here bishop g5 for example and here, I don't know, bishop e7, for example, e5, knight of d7, takes, takes, um, I don't know, knight b5, there is a move, also here, you can play just the move h4, and after bishop takes, h takes, queen g5, uh, if I'm not mistaken, knight h3, something like this, uh, interesting line for white, but overall, yeah, he played the move e5, uh, of course, the main line, knight of d7, f4, c5, and here, knight f3 is the best move, in my opinion, at least, um, it should be the main line here, but Gukesh played the move knight c to e2. The point here is, is that you're just uh, looking for this pawn on d4, and of course you're preparing maybe the move c3, and also just to defend the pawn on d4, because this pawn on d4 is the most important uh, square in the, in the opening, right? Uh, because this pawn just defend the pawn on e5 and all of the structure in the center um, is is so important for both sides right because if black uh, will try to take this pawn on d4 uh, so all of the uh, pawn structure uh, will, for white will just fail so knight c6 and now c3 as we said a5 was played after 27 minutes unbelievable daily ran is taking his time and i can tell you something about the time control so they're playing like 
40 moves with two hours without increment okay there is no uh, control that you're familiar with like every single move you're uh, bringing to yourself half a minute no big no it's two hours for 40 moves let's see so a5 after 27 minutes for me in my opinion is not a good choice by Ding Li Ren uh, but maybe he thought how can I just remove Gukesh from his preparation here so knight f3 was played a4 and here bishop e3 was played very fast with confidence Gukesh is playing it and now bishop e7 g4 wow Gukesh is playing very strong but very fast and I'm not sure about this g4 move maybe the best was to play the move knight g3 with bishop d3 castle with f5 uh, plan right and here I'm not sure what black will play because after g6 I thought just bishop e2 uh, for example I don't know castle just castle uh, or maybe h4 immediately trying to attack with h5 because also you can just put the king on f2 and there is like everything is under control for this king and maybe to attack with h5 h g6 maybe rook h2 queen h1 something around this interesting solution but g4 is a little bit you know um too confidence right you're playing the first game in this uh, tournament in this final match uh, and you're you you're playing g4 i don't know f5 this is the threat with knight f4 but I'm not sure it's not so easy to understand. So queen a5 was played by Ding Ren, and the point after queen a5, of course, was just to take the pawn on d4, and and then c takes d4 is not allowed because of this pin, right? So bishop g2, I was sure uh, during the game that he will play the move king f2. I don't know why, but I thought like this because just removing uh, this pin and after c takes d4, just c takes d4, and here, I don't know, it's looking very nice for white maybe. Uh, but king f2 probably um, Gukesh did it like because of f6 with after e takes f6 just knight takes f6 with knight e4 knight g4 it's it's not feeling well for this king on f2 so bishop g2 was played and now a3 I thought he will take on d4 uh, but now probably knight e takes d4 and should be fine but I don't know a3 yeah b4 maybe yeah so it's it's fine for for white of course so yeah bishop g2 maybe maybe is better option by gukish and now a3 was played b3 and c takes d4 and now as you can see knight e takes d4 is not so good because of queen takes e3 check and you know pawn up and that's it so here uh, he played the move b4 the best move of course in the position and now queen c7 dilly ran here with 57 minutes on the clock just unbelievable to see that in 13 moves already Ding Li Ren uh, waste one hour in his clock. Amazing. Knight e takes d4, knight b6. 39 minutes. Another 18 minutes for this particular move. It's unbelievable to see uh, such things from this Grandmaster Ding Li Ren, the world chess champion very interesting decision castle and now knight c4 and it seems that maybe from this point grandmaster dingley rand world champion and i will tell it another time and another time don't forget he is the world champion for now right you know this is very important to know and to remember because you know all of this the people are speaking about you know gukish 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 but who is the world champion now grandmaster dingley rand he won against Yanni Pomnishi and that's it. So knight c4 attacking the bishop on e3 and now bishop f2 is going back and bishop d7 was played very very fast. Queen e2 and now knight takes d4. B knight takes d4. I thought during the game that bishop takes d4 looking very nice because you know f5 you should you should, you should think about f5 point. Rook a1 maybe I don't know king h1 bishop h3 and f5 to somehow to push it because bishop on d4 is doing very strong job also defend the pawn on c3 and also protect the e5 pawn and also like you know combining every single piece into the attack with f5 but knight x d4 was played and now knight b2 very nice move i think by ding first of all attacking the pawn oh sorry attack the pawn on c3 uh, and also maybe knight a4 with some attacking with this knight so as you can see the pawn on c3 is a weakness and this is very important 
uh, to look because also the c file is open for the rook. So queen e3, just uh, defend the pawn on c3. Yeah, where Gukesh thought queen e2, he, he thought about it. Wow, so much. 33 minutes. It's, you know, crazy. I can tell you that such moves in 33 minutes, for my opinion, it's unbelievable. It's something that we just need to learn from it that all of this World Chess Championship match is 99% psychological terms, okay? Chess game is, you know, full of psychological things that you need to learn and, uh, you know, to have experience with. So Queen E2 after th 33 minutes, why to play 33 minutes this Queen E2 move? If you are thinking about uh, such a move so much time, it should be like something surprising, something very unusual, but Queen E2, very logic move and I don't know, it's a waste of time. Knight xd4, knight xd4 and knight b2, uh, queen e3 and now rook c8, another very strong and very active and very fast move by the world champion. Rook a c1 and now queen c4, another very strong move and you know, as you can see, we saw that um, Ding's clock was like around 40 minutes in like maybe 7 moves ahead, you know, before, right? Uh, and now only 7 minutes waste uh, for Ding the Ryan uh, in the last moves, in the last couple of moves, just brilliant. And I can tell you, this is the things that we want to see from the world champion, right? This is the psychological uh, issues and we can learn from him so much. Queen c4 playing very fast, attacking the pawn on a2 and now f5. He's going for the attack and as you can see Gukesh already down in his clock. Queen d3, I really like this move. Uh, Ding Liran said to himself, you know what, I don't want to take this pawn, right? Because white will attack me with, I don't know, maybe bishop g3, f6, trying to uh, reveal this king from e8 and attack with all his power. But hey, he's not going uh, for, for this. Queen d3 asking white, let's remove the queens from the board. And then queen e1 was played and this was another mistake. Uh, but this position is not so easy to handle. I think queen f4 uh, should be the move here with, uh, I don't know, maybe some sacrificing f takes e6 with bishop h4, bishop e3, bishop g3, something about this f file. Also maybe f6, uh, interesting idea, right? So white should have think about uh, some developments because he don't want to exchange queens, but also don't want to play some queen e1 very passive moves and now bishop g5 another strong move by uh, ding rook c2 and now rook c4 as you can see he's playing with all his confidence he's playing active fast and this is kind of things that we really really want to appreciate you know it's just amazing rook c4 attacking the knight on d4 because the queen here attacking the uh, rook on c2 so now h4 was played and now bishop f4 another very strong move you can see that ding is playing so fast he's calculating every single variation in this game just unbelievable performance by grandmaster dingley ran queen b1 uh, you know another very passive move gukesh don't have time in his clock only 15 min minutes to play 15 moves wow and don't forget he doesn't have any increment per move right now the point of course rook takes b2 is the threat but rook takes e3 was played by Ding Liran. Rook takes, queen takes, and now f takes e6. f takes was played. Also, bishop takes e6. Very strong for black. But f takes lo looks very logical also. Knight e2, queen takes e5, knight f4, queen f4, and queen c2. Here was a move, bishop c5, just to attack this queen and also and not providing some castle variations, right? After queen g4, for example, rook f3 with queen f1 with some checkmate threats, but should be should be better for black. I don't know how, maybe knight c4, queen f5, uh, queen f1, sorry, and king d8, just after rook f8 just takes, queen takes and king c7 probably, and that's it, right? And there is no checks and that's it, yeah. So queen takes f4, queen c2 was played, another passive move, I think. 
queen c4 just blocking the c file from this queen uh, queen d2 castle and that's it ding ryan is winning the game bishop d4 knight d3 queen e3 takes takes and e5 uh, you know just amazing amazing ding ryan is crushing gukish with the black pieces what a performance uh, here after bishop takes d3 just queen takes d4 and that's it yeah this position is totally lost here with black pawn up king is coming into the game um yeah the game is over here no two pawns up sorry two pawns up so yeah bishop takes c5 was played queen g4 king, bishop g2 uh here after king h2 just queen takes h4 we check of course so bishop g2 bishop f5 bishop g3 bishop e4 just every single move is active and Gukesh has only 24 seconds for three uh, moves king h2 very fast h6 very nice move just uh, protecting the king and also uh, bring the opportunity uh, for window for this king bishop h3 queen d1 bishop d6 queen c2 check king g3 queen takes a2 bishop e6 and now king h8 the last move in this game of course after king h7 it's a big blunder queen takes e4 check and also d takes e4 just bishop takes a2 with two bishops and this pos position should be better for white i don't know why black uh, you know why here the computer says like equal i don't know why i'm not understanding but should be maybe equal i um, maybe yeah maybe knight c1 with a2 maybe king is coming because black has several uh, pawns for this bishop so yeah but king h8 and the game just over gukesh resigned the first game can you believe the result zero for gukesh one for grandmaster ding liran the world champion do it again maybe he will succeed another victory tomorrow with white pieces i don't know i really want uh, to thank you all to watching uh, for watching this video uh, it was amazing kickoff of the world chess championship 2024 i really would like to know what do you think about today's result will this set the tone for the rest of the match or will we see a big comeback in game number two let me know your thoughts in the comments below and plus check out outpost chess website it's free it's fun and it's perfect for sharpening your chess skills you can play there for money so just uh, sign up in the link in, in the description so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video of course uh, right here where we bring chess into life bye bye